Hello, in this video we'll be talking about this 1984 BMW 325e. I would like to first off say that my students at Terry Falk Secondary School in the automotive program have helped me build this and I would like to thank them in whatever opportunity I have to do so. In this video I'll be talking about the intake manifold, brake booster, and also a little bit of a background about this vehicle and the process I have going on with it right now. In this frame we have what we call the intake manifold. This intake manifold is currently being modified to fit over the brake booster, which I'll have more shots of later. This engine is from a 2005 BMW M3, engine code S54. The technique I use to cut out the hole in the intake manifold is that I use this grinder. Make sure to use appropriate safety glasses, very important, as well as face shield and hearing protection. You can see the cutout, it's not the prettiest. Here in this frame, we have an intake manifold, which is this large black box, and the intake elbow located right here. These silver bands are what we call hose clamps, which help create an airtight seal, so no air leaks into the engine. There is this red marking here, which shows us that we need to cut out, as you can see, it is blocking the way of the oil cooler line, especially over here around the brake booster. We need to cut around that and reform the plastic, which we will show in another video. This is the master cylinder reservoir. This is where your brake fluid is stored. I'd like to quickly show around the vehicle. The inside, I have the shifter mounted, and this is a six speed manual transmission. The salmon material around there. Around the shifter, you see this material. This material is called Bondo. It's an auto body filler used to fill in any imperfections and usually it is sanded down before you paint. However, for this case, we just want to get this car driving. So that's why I just bolted up like that. The wiring also needs to be sorted. I've had my students place all these wires in here. They also installed the dashboard and made these custom plates for gauges. The main difficulty I found when I had my students work on the wiring is that it is very confusing with the different plugs and different labels. As you can see the ECU, the engine control unit is located right here and this fuse panel holds fuses in there to protect any overload on any electrical components. My purpose of these videos is to educate viewers on 
the engine as well as the swap process in putting this S54 in an E30. As you can see, the students have also worked on the bumper. Bumper needs some finishing though.